questions are. With respect to uh, the Affordable Care Act, my point is that we've been having a political fight about this for five years. We need to move on to something else. We're helping because of something we did. I don't think we should apologize for it. I don't think we should be defensive about it. But are Democrats running on Obamacare? We're not uh, running on this. We're running on what the American people want us to run on, and that is job creation. Show us the jobs. So which one is it? For some Democrats, instead of touting the Affordable Care Act, they're pledging to fix it. That Ann Kirkpatrick listens and learns. It's why she blew the whistle on the disastrous health care website, calling it stunning ineptitude and work to fix it. What I've said to the president is, you told them that they could keep it. Landrew has introduced the Keeping the Affordable Care Act promise. I'm fixing it. Ten incumbent House Democrats are currently in seats considered toss-ups by the Cook Political Report. Of those, only four mentioned the Affordable Care Act by name on the issues page of their campaign websites. And it's even fewer in the Senate. Of the five toss-up races, only one senator, Alaska's Mark Baggage, includes the Affordable Care Act on his site. And the public view of the health care law has hit another low. A Washington Post-ABC News poll shows support for Obamacare has dropped from 49 percent of Americans supporting the law last month down to 44 percent this month. And for some, Obamacare may be a loaded word, but Medicare isn't. I wrote the Medicare Protection Act to stop politicians from destroying Medicare. Meanwhile, Republicans aren't just using Obamacare against their Democratic opponents, they're using it in ads against each other. Sass called Obamacare, quote, an important first step. He said Obamacare's mandate might be a good idea. So while a few Democrats embrace the new law wholeheartedly, I worked with President Obama on the Affordable Care Act and getting health coverage to all Americans. Others will continue to dodge Obamacare until Election Day.